Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Karachi, Pakistan. And for this trip, we are staying at, it's called Beach Luxury Hotel, which is part of the Avani Hotel Group, which is a local Pakistani hotel chain. But in this video, I'm gonna give you a full review of our room. I'm gonna walk you, give you a room tour. I'm gonna walk you around the property. It's on the beach, well, no, not really a beach, but more of a lagoon. But before the room tour, we're on our way to breakfast. And actually, before breakfast, I have to show you first First, what happened last night, they invited us for a seafood dinner uh, at their restaurant, Kaspa. How are you? Uh, how are you? manager just presented us with the Sindhi style hats uh, from this state of Pakistan and uh, uh, a cloth like a draping cloth is very cool and now we're gonna go have dinner this is one of the they're they're known for their seafood restaurant and so we're gonna have some seafood for dinner tonight it's well known for being a very heritage uh, seafood restaurant in Karachi and they have live seafood they have uh, fresh seafood basin that you uh, oh, actually an entire boat so you can choose your seafood that you like and in addition to eating seafood at the same time just so happened to be at the same time there was also a a pop concert by one of the most uh, well-known Pakistani pop artists so we were listening to the concert we were having dinner it was really nice uh, very nice atmosphere the entire table is full of food. All the seafood, plus we got, there's a prawn karahi, and I think it's a mutton karahi, but wow, beautiful. I really want to try the crab, the grilled crab, as well as the, the shrimp, the prawns. It's the prawns karahi, the, the prawns cooked with spices in a, a rounded skillet pan. Oh, wow. Huge thank you to the general manager for inviting us for dinner last night. That was a, yeah, that was a great experience and the concert. And okay, let's go have breakfast. Then after that, we'll do a little bit of rock walking around, show you the lagoon, and then I'll give you a full tour of our room. The breakfast restaurant is called 007. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Can I please, you want an omelet or fried eggs? Can I please have uh, one omelet? Yes, sir. Yeah, one one omelet, please, with, and then one uh, plate of fried eggs. Oh no, 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 no. It's breakfast buffet. Most of the dishes are there's a lot of Pakistani food, desi food. Uh, you can get paratha, you can get halwa. Then are, there are some Western <coughs> options as well, some sausages, and then there's the full bread station. Where uh, unfortunately they only have instant coffee, not fresh coffee. And then you can also get fresh paratha. He's making paratha, and then finally the egg station. They call it the live egg station because you order and you get your eggs. Alu takari. So this alu is potato. I'm not sure what takari is, but this looks delicious. Some kind of potato, potato curry. China, this is uh, chickpeas, these dishes. <laughs> it's so good. Meat option today is beef kima, which is like a minced meat curry. Yesterday it was nihari, which is another, which is another wonderful meat dish. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna grab a piece of the paratha and then scoop into that, that's the alu, that's the potato curry first. Mm, that dripped on my chin. Mmm, mmm. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> the, the spices in there, the maybe mustard seed, and like the, mm. This is why I love breakfast in Pakistan so much. And this one is the chickpeas. <laughs> and then rotate my plate over for the kima. Mm. Mm. It's very rich. Yeah, very rich. You taste the pepper in there. 
actually there's whole peppercorns. It's like mild on the spices, but like really meaty, comforting. Normally I'm gonna drink my coffee black, but then with instant coffee, gotta add some milk to it. All right, and then moving on to the omelet. This is a, I think it's just a straight mixed omelet of everything that he has, but mostly vegetables in there. And then finally, one thing you will never go wrong with in Pakistan is yogurt and lassi. And I've been eating, yeah, I always love to get a, some fruit and then just drown it out in yogurt. All right, and that completes breakfast. Thank you very much. Have Thank you very much. Day. Have a nice day. Have a great day. Thank you. Okay, breakfast was good. The highlight for me today was the potato curry. That was, that was wonderful. Before I give you a full room tour of our room, let's just go take a little walk around the property, go to the creek side, the lagoon side, and just like, yeah, let's go check it out over here. The walk out here, there's a big uh, grassy area. Oh, this is that seafood restaurant that we ate at last night, Kasba. They did a remarkable job at clearing that entire stage and the entire like area where there was a stage where the concert was last night was on this grassy area. So they hold a lot of events in this grassy area as well. Uh, Pakistan is a very late night culture and so in the, in the daytime it's quite sleepy, it's quite uh, quiet especially the hotel, but then at night, this place just comes alive. They have events here, they have dinners. Uh, it's, it's especially actually popular local with local people who come here to eat, to walk around to, when the weather is nice, especially at night, uh, just to hang out here and enjoy. So this place comes alive at night. All right, let's take a walk out onto this floating dock just to get a view. The ocean is, I think, across this lagoon, but it's more of a lagoon, a creekside, not the cleanest water you'll see, but it is like, it's ambient. It makes for a nice setting, especially at night. And this, this whole floating little restaurant is pretty cool as well. And then you can see over on the right-hand side, that's one of the, the ports, I think. And then every now and then you'll see fishermen and boats going past as well. Again, it has, like, it has a really nice atmosphere and people come here just to hang out when the weather is nice, to eat, to relax. Okay, from here, let's go back to the front of the hotel, start at the lobby, and then we'll go up to our room. I haven't used the swimming pool at all, but this is the, the swimming pool section. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, the pool is a little bit outdated. Uh, it, yeah, it's, it's pretty old. Well, the entire, the entire hotel is a little, yeah, old and could use an update, could use a renovation, but it is a classic. It's one of the oldest, one of the heritage hotels in Karachi. The swimming pool, uh, those, those umbrella covering, solid concrete coverings. Yeah, those, those are, you could call those vintage. I haven't yet taken a swim, but that slide, which is nearly vertical, is very tempting. <laughs> Who wants to go on it? <laughs> look, at, look at the steepness of that. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> now that's a 70s, 70s design if I've seen one. And that is an amazing mango tree. I think that's our bedroom, our, our room right up there through the mango tree. And right on the side of the swimming pool, this is the gym, the health club. Whoa, take a couple steps down. Oh, oh, hello, Ying. <laughs> you snuck away and you started working out. We've got a lot of eating today to do coming soon, so I better, I better work out. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay. I actually really do love working out. <laughs> this is the reception area. So this is the desk countertop where you check into the hotel. And then there's a random cake fridge over to your right hand side over here. You gotta love the cake fridge right in the middle of the lobby. Beach Luxury Hotel uh, opened in Karachi 21st of March, 1948. It's one of the heritage hotels of Pakistan, of Karachi. Even though the hotel dates back to 1948 and some things look like they're still original and kind of a little bit on the old side, this hotel definitely has a lot of character. Okay, elevator is over here. Come on in. 
All right, come on out. This is the view of Karachi from the backside of the hotel. We're all the way at the very end. This is our room. All right, welcome on into our room. You enter into this, I, I guess we have a suite room, uh, but you enter into this room. This is a, there's a, a random dining dining table at the front with a little sofa. Oh yeah, Ying got these flowers mm -hmm. upon check-in. Nice. Welcome to our room. This is the main bedroom, but actually, oh, you know what I'm gonna grab first? My Sind hat that I got last night. Okay, now we can go on the, on the room tour. But well, let's start with the bathroom over to the left-hand side here. Welcome into the bathroom. Uh, bathroom is actually really nice. This is probably my favorite part of the entire hotel room because of the marble in it. But the entire bathroom is just marble from the counter to the floor to the shower. It's simple, it's clean, it's everything you need in a bathroom. And by everything I'm, you need, I mean a toilet, a sink, and a shower. And lots of marble. <laughs> Come check out the shower. Then over on this side in the closet, there's a, a safety deposit box. And I do really like these floors, these stone floors, uh, the marble in the bedroom, and then the, I don't know what type of stone this is, but it is, it is nice, like good classic hard stone. Uh, bed here, there's a couple cedar, cedar sofas. There's a desk, and then have to do my, my ritual bed test. Yeah, that's some, that's some good spring, some good bounce. Bed is maybe like a little bit on the smallish side for two, but I th yeah, it's pretty comfortable, very comfortable. Oh. <laughs> In the corner, you've got your coffee maker. There's some, some instant coffees, uh, water, kettle, boiler. I haven't actually even looked in here. Oh, is this the fridge? Yes, this is the fridge. Whoa, that's a pretty huge fridge. All right, that brings us to the end of this tour of beach luxury hotel, Avani Hotels in Karachi. Uh, again, like it is an old hotel. Some things are a little bit outdated. Some things could definitely use a renovation, uh, but overall, I think, I think it, that gives it character and that gives it a heritage feel. It's one of the classic hotels of Karachi. And also I do like to support a Pakistani local hotel brand chain. Uh, so. We've had a great stay here. The staff have been, the staff have been really, really taking care of us. Um, thank you very much to the general manager as well for taking care of us, for hosting us for dinner last night and for hosting us at the hotel. Uh, well, I'm on, a, I'm on a project collaboration, so we didn't pay for our stay here, uh, but everything that I'm saying in this video is my experience and my honest uh, take on this hotel. Uh, you can get rooms for about $100, even a little less than $100 sometimes, depending on season probably too, up to 130, 180, 100, 200 bucks if you get a sweet room. Uh, but overall, just uh, reasonable prices and then different options as well. And another thing that I really like about this hotel is that it's, it's in Karachi, it's actually in a very good location. It's like near to downtown, yet it's very quiet. It's down a side road, so it's peaceful. You don't even hear the traffic here, really. Yet, it's like very close to things that you need to see, places that you need to go if you're if you want to be in central Karachi. So it's a nice it's a nice balance here. Big thank you for watching this hotel tour on Mark Abroad. I'll have all the information in the description box below that you can check out. And also on Mark Abroad, I'm going to be publishing more hotel reviews, transportation reviews, travel tips. Uh, so if you're interested in travel, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell icon so that you get notified of more videos that I publish. Thank you again for watching. Goodbye from Karachi and see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.